John Chapman was a man who lived out what he believed. He left home when he was 23, and from then till the day he died, almost 50 years later, he traveled on foot back and forth between Indiana and Pennsylvania planting apple trees. Today we think of apple orchards as quaint, but in Chapman's day they were a necessity on the frontier. Apples were a fast-growing, versatile crop that allowed settlers to move into an area and settle down much quicker. In fact, it was due to Chapman's efforts, more than perhaps anyone else's, that settlement on the frontier in the early 1800s happened as quickly as it did. Why was Chapman willing to live this way? He lived a harsh, lonely, and nomadic life, and he did so because of what he believed. Among his few possessions, John Chapman always carried a Bible and a stack of gospel tracts, which he would hand out to the different cabins in the area. When there weren't enough to go around, he would rip them up and distribute them, and then on his way back through, he would redistribute them, so that every family would have a chance to read them. He once even offered to sell land for gospel tracts, and wherever he went, at whatever cabin he was spending the night, Chapman would sit down on the floor and ask the family if they wanted to hear news right fresh from heaven. Chapman was an entrepreneur, owning almost 1,200 acres of land, an itinerant missionary, a helping hand, and once he even warned about an Indian raid. Today we remember him as Johnny Appleseed, an eccentric character with a pot on his head. But in Chapman's time, he did more to help his fellow man than almost anyone. And he did it because he lived out what he believed. That's why I want to tell his story so that we can learn to be people who don't just give mental assent to an idea, but allow it to impact our lives, to actually live what we believe, and in turn, change the world. Appleseed, The Life and Legacy of John Chapman is available on Amazon as well as other sites. Please check it out, read it, and learn about one of the greatest American legends, a man whose true story is even more incredible than the myths we remember.